A welcome back. For one Hutchinson veteran, landing in Vietnam proved a terrifying experience. Yeah, but amid the chaos, a glimmer of hope that he credits for his survival. KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer explain in this week's Veteran Salute. As Roger Dean Dickinson and his unit were about to land in Da Nang, the city was under attack. After a rough landing and explosions in every direction, Dickinson ran to safety in a nearby bunker, when moments later, in almost total darkness, he met the man he calls his angel. It's been 51 and a half years since I left that place. And I still remember that conversation with that guy. Just minutes into landing in Vietnam, Roger Dickinson says he was taken under an angel's wing. Da Nang was on blackout because they were being hit. I can get this faint image of somebody sitting at the far end of that room down there. I never did see his face, but for me, he was an angel. Dickinson starting a conversation with an unnamed man who was about to leave Vietnam. He says, you're just getting here. And I can tell you're nervous by what you're asking me. What I want to tell you is, it don't mean nothing. And I said, what do you mean it don't mean nothing? And he waited just a little bit. And he says, you're going to see so much, so much, that you, it'll, just, it'll just turn your stomach. If you let yourself think about it, you will die here. It don't mean nothing, and you go about your job, and that's what keeps you alive. That's what the angel taught me. Minutes later, Dickinson's angel faded into the darkness of the bunker, never to be seen again. I've thought about that so many times, like, was he real? You know, was I imagining things? Dickinson would spend 11 months in Vietnam, holding on to the words from his angel through the darkest moments. When the phantoms would take off out of Da Nang Airport carrying napalm. They just set the, the jungle on fire. From seeing the effects of Agent Orange firsthand. And it just kills everything. People, plants, trees, everything. It's, it's wasteland. To witnessing the destructive power of the workhorse of Vietnam. These Hueys would go way high and they would play rock and roll music on speakers just cranked. And they fire up these machine guns. They can put a bullet, a 50 caliber bullet, and that's huge, in every square inch in a football field area in eight seconds. Nothing lives through it. Now, more than 50 years later, Dickinson still holds on to those words whenever he's reminded of the front lines. You have to go back to the, it don't mean nothing. Just get it out of your head. I'm very fortunate to still be here. And I look up and say thanks a lot. Dickinson never found out who his angel was. And when asked what he'd like to say to the man he credits for saving his life, he said thank you for that advice in capital letters. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Roger Dickinson, who served our country during the Vietnam War. Roger, thank you so much for your service. I just want to say thank you for this check and for allowing me to say my piece about things I have been through in the service and I hope you better understand veterans for this. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.